Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, Jason, onboard diagnostics. I know there's yeah. all sorts of lights and stuff that show up on my dashboard. Um, how does that all work? Well, it is quite a complex system. Uh, in fact, onboard diagnostics, OBD, um, OBD1, OBD2, there's different versions of it. OBD2 is the most current on the vehicle. And what it is, it's, a, it, it's almost like a network within the car. All right. And what it does, the car is continuously self-checking itself, making sure things are operating correctly, up to its peak efficiency, um, and it's all linked together um, through this onboard diagnostic port, which gives you access to that to see how it's working, how it's operating. Um, any issues with the vehicle that senses, uh, triggers a light, we've all seen lights on our dashboard. Absolutely. It yeah. happens. Um, that's the first indicator that the car has sensed a fault. Uh, the next step is utilizing that onboard diagnostics to kind of point you in a direction of what's happening on the car. So the technician will go in and plug into this OBD port. Okay. Which puts you into that network of systems that the car is continuously checking. Yep. And it'll, it'll trigger a fault code. And that code, again, is a pointing direction. What it does, it'll be a letter, maybe some numbers associated with it, even some uh, hexadecimal symbols even, because there's a, a plethora of codes that are available on modern cars and this is like james bond we're talking now this is like code work huh? It, Real is, code it, work. it is quite complex actually yeah and, and it's very interesting and, and is that sort of uh helping you guys find out sort of narrow what to be looking for to fix the problem absolutely okay. absolutely there's so many systems on a vehicle without having the car doing at least a little bit of self-checking yeah, yeah when you have an issue it'll all just be a guessing game and I bet those systems, you have to keep those, your systems like up to date and every oh, yeah. year, just like a computer basically. Oh yes, right? very much so. Yeah. Very much so. There's lots of updates, a lot of new things come out. Cars are constantly evolving, yeah. constantly changing. It's 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 funny when you look at cars these days, you know, we were just talking about this earlier before we started doing these videos. It's, mm -hmm. I guess the days of a, of a mechanic just lifting the hood and yeah. wiggling this into it, those are long gone, right? Yeah, I would say so. I would right. say so. Well, that's okay. You know, as long as you know somebody who's got all the goods and knows how to use them too. I mean, that's pretty important as well, right? Absolutely. And uh, I think you guys at Weber know how to do that stuff. So if you have any problems with your car or, you know, you're just looking to get it checked up, Weber Automotive. And if you're not at the website, get there right now, WeberAutomotive.com. We have lots more great uh, informative videos just like this one. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Thank you.